Yesterday, I lost a friend. Before I start, if it's not obvious enough already, massive trigger warning. If you feel like this might affect you, please just stop watching. It's fine to just not. Last night, I found out that a girl I knew from home committed suicide after a long struggle with bipolar disorder. I haven't known her for a while because I moved away from home, and even when I did, we were only really friends as part of a group, like friends because of other friends, but it still hurts a lot. As you get older and your friendships sort of drift apart, you just sort of assume that the people on your periphery who used to be your main focus, they're fine. They're just bopping along with their lives fine until one day you find out that they're not fine anymore. One of them, who once was, is not anymore. I wrote last night to my friend, I just feel horrible. I'm just trying to distract myself with practicalities, like letting people who knew her know what's happened. But the thought of her or of anyone being that broken just hurts so much. Supposedly these days we live in a golden age for mental health acceptance, yet here on YouTube, the biggest video creating site in the world and on other websites, you have idiots making jokes about suicide, using it for views and spreading drama. Nobody is sitting down genuinely looking you in the eye and saying, you. Hello you. You are brilliant. You're a wonderful, beautiful little miracle. You are worth something and if you're feeling sad, that's not the way you're meant to be, not the way you deserve to be, and not the way you'll always be. And I know that and I can promise that because I'm on both sides of that all the time. I made this video for that message. That's that's it. That's the only reason. I don't want you to pity me. I don't want the comments to be flooded with sympathy for me. This is not about me. I've done my thinking. I've spoken to friends. I'm fine right now. The only feeling I have is confusion because I've not seen her for so long that it doesn't yet feel real. I decided the only thing I could do in this situation is to take a horrible thing that's happened that I can't do anything about and try and turn it into something positive in the hope that one person, one person somewhere, maybe, for one tiny moment, feels slightly less alone. If you're ever feeling anything even slightly close to anything like that, please tell somebody and remember that the things that you're feeling and what you think is going on is not real. There are chemicals in your head and you are worth so much more than your brain would currently let you believe. Stay safe. You're brilliant. Goodbye.